Hello, my little Willies. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to knit my version of a stockinette stitch that doesn't curl. It creates a very thick fabric. This is the wrong side of the work. It looks great too, so I would say it's a reversible stitch. And it lays flat all the time. It's thick, beautiful, perfect, even for knitting some ribbings. You could use it for the ribbing of a hat or a mitten or a sweater. Pretty easy to knit. You just need to know how to knit and how to purl and we will slip some stitches. That's it. So I hope you like it. Let's get started. Firstly, we need to cast on an odd number of stitches. I'm casting on 17 stitches for this demonstration. First row, wrong side of the work. We start with purl two. And now comes the repeat, what you will find between asterisks on the reading instructions. Remember, you will find the reading instructions on my website, sowoolly.net. There is a link for you below this video on the description box. So, the repeat is... With yarn in front, slip one stitch as if to purl. Just pass it onto the right hand needle. Keep your yarn in front of the work. And purl one. This is it. That's the repeat. Let's do it again. With yarn in front, slip one purlwise and purl the next. Always keep the yarn in front of the work. Slip one as if to purl, purl one. Slip one as if to purl, purl one. And keep repeating until there is only one stitch left. And purl the last stitch only on this first row through the back loop so we don't get a huge loop there. Second row. We start with net one. And now comes the repeat. With yarn in front. Slip one stitch as if to purl with yarn in back, knit one and repeat with yarn in front, slip one as if to purl with yarn in back, knit one, slip one, knit one. Slip one, knit one, and keep repeating to the end of the row. The last two, slip one, knit one. These two rows create the pattern. Repeat them until you reach the desired length. When finished, you have two options. We can bind off purlwise or knitwise if it's the right side of the work. And that's everything for today, my little Willis. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and happy knitting!